recording. Hello YouTube, how are you doing Earthlings? Welcome to part 10 of my troglodyte trog from the 1977 movie Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. It's a clay sculpture that I'm doing for the Morrigan's Monster Mayhem challenge. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to enter it because I can't actually um, put any stuff on, YouTube, on Instagram at the moment. So it might have to be a Morrigan's Monster Mayhem challenge on that I reveal on YouTube. I don't know. But anyway, my last two videos they were so bright and washed out and one of them was off to the side outside yeah so it was sort of was it constantly um, focusing on, on the stuff that was behind it but this is um this is the sort of lightness you need and you need him right in the middle a bit closer maybe is that him zoomed in now come on zoom in here this is where you want to focus right here my hands. Well, I'll just have to take it for granted that it's as if it's focused because I can't actually see on the view screen. Right, my trog, I'm getting very happy with how he's looking now. I've added the extra bits of muscle as I, you saw in the last video. Um, more of a chest, uh, lots more back. I've got another crack here for some reason. That happened. Well, that's going to have to be a bit of super glue. That's very odd. Unless I've bashed him somehow. I did have a bit of movement on this elbow as well, which I do still have a bit of movement on that elbow. Um, so they're going to have to have a bit of super glue. But I'm going to do that as soon as I, or just before I'm going to do his um, do the uh, his skin texture again. But for the moment, oh yeah, he comes off his stand now as well, so I've been able to shape up his feet. Um, I've been using the sandpaper to smooth off parts of his body. And I'm getting very pleased with how he's looking. I didn't think it takes so long, I mean, I suppose that, uh, I reckon I'll be finished with him in a... Uh, probably another three videos maybe the thing I'm really struggling with is what how I'm going to do his Bob Ross esque um, lot flowing well not flowing um, curly perm because he's got this black sort of grey grey black hair all over his head and it's sort of goes right down his back and then sort of it's very uh troglodyte -y. and human beings come up to about there on him so he's just a, you know he's just like a big bloke really um yeah so i've been uh doing the detailing and also i've been um doing his face as well where's his face i'll turn it off it's all the opposite isn't it come on Come on, zoom. Focus. That's it. See the uh, detail on his face there. Getting his eyes done. His eyes are going to be the thing that um, do it really for me because he's got his beady eyes that just look very, very good. Very, uh, Life-like for the uh, for the era that it was he was made. Um, but yeah, I've got to do a little bit more sort of sculpting up here. A little bit more to his eyeballs in themselves. I kind of try to do the eyelids. They might be a little bit big, if anything. Yeah, I've just been doing f lots of fine work now that I can hold him. And, um, his left hand, well, it's not really a left hand, is it? It's a 
thing in the vague shape of a hand. So I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have to take him over to my hand piece, I think, and do a little bit of trimming to it. And his left hand, right hand, I mean, I tried to put, make a hole in, bearing in mind that there's no wire armature in any of his fingers at all. I'm definitely going to have to glue that at my left shoulder. But um, yeah, his thumb fell off and then his hand broke and I just got a little bit annoyed and just poured super glue all over it and then sprayed it with activator stupidly and now I've got lots of fluffy white crusty stuff up. so there's lots actually I've got to do to him I've got to repair loads oh, I'm painting my baby bot yesterday as well and uh, dropped him again just holding him in bits so that I think that I've stolid but I forget that I've only sort of pressed fitted some things together and but it's okay, it's not broken, it's just um needs its <coughs> the rest of it's um it's it's got oh, I'll go on to it about another video. But oh, this is a video about Trog, isn't it? Um I am not even showing you and I'm trying to explain something that probably no one's got any idea what I'm going on about. Oh yeah, I buried Rosie yesterday morning. I'm very happy. It went. I had to get up at half past four in the morning. It's not like I had to. I wanted to. And uh, I went to yeah on a, on the beach, on a lovely beach along the Thames. Um, got some nice depth into the sand. There's paving slab on top. And then I went back and had a look this morning. I really shouldn't do because the last time I went to have a look at the grave site of one of, of uh, Susie, it was the black cat that died in 2018. My poor beloved Susie. She was a lovely cat. Um, I went to have a look at her grave just to sit with her again. The day after I'd buried her up in the top of Oxley's Woods is the highest hill in South London and I can see them from here pretty much from my, bit of my window that's why I, there's three of them up there and I went back there to have a look and there was just a hole of a paving slab but you know at the end of the day it's just a body I was I was really sad and unhappy and I cried but um, then at the end of the day it's just, she's just with you know, she's helped out another animal a fox probably Maybe that fox had some very hungry cubs. But yeah, I went to have a look this morning. In fact, oh, where's a picture? I can show you a picture on my phone, maybe, of uh, my old iPhone 4S. Yeah, up with the uh, technology I am. Camera. No, that's little baby cooties. No more hens, I mean. Yeah. So it's a lovely bit of bit of Thames. There's some old um sort of a I don't know, pier or something there from Henry the Eighth time or even before that maybe and she's buried just in front of that and uh, it's a beautiful place and I'm very happy. She's laid to rest finally about to turn off my freezer it doesn't smell in my fridge which is amazing after she's been in there for so long well, there's, there's Susie there's Susie Suze who's that? oh that's the three of them Susie, Rosie and Daisy oh my poor babies I wish they didn't die Yeah. 
So, I, I told you what my favourite Harry How Ray Harryhausen film is, and I think I need to interact with you at one. I do talk, try and talk all the way through my videos. Some of them I just stay quiet. But, I notice some people doing live streams, um, and they just sit there and just do their stuff, and almost ignore what's going on in the message chat screen but um i want to ask you and maybe you could put in the comment section what your favorite ray harryhausen film is and why um also i thought that ray harryhausen might have had something to do with the king kong film but it was 1933 that it came out and ray would have been 13 years old then and that's exact that's actually what inspired him and I do love that old black and white King Kong film. It's just I've got to do a King Kong as well. So his club, crunch and mallet. What was the other word I just thought of earlier? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna um, probably just gonna glue that in place, and then build his hand around it. And then I'm probably gonna um, do all the skin texture, and then paint him. So it will seal it on the quite the fluffy uh, skin texture clay that I'm going to be putting on. Um, so it will seal all that on there and then some Mod Podge. And then I can think about doing his clothing to uh, remove his embarrassment of not, have, not wearing any clothes. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want to bore you too much with more long videos so I'm just going to keep these ones quite short because I want to um, yeah, I could be doing it but uh, I'll, I'll just show you the finished trog and me doing the uh, skin texture I think and then that will be trog finished so I'm going to finish his hands glue his arms put it back in place finish sculpting his face and do a bit of work on his feet because his toes don't really look like toes yet. <laughs> and um, then uh, it should be just a couple of videos for painting. And then the Bob Ross hairdo. I've got an idea of where to, I've got a black rug in here. And I might be able to trim off some of that. But his hair isn't black black. It's sort of grey black. So I might have to do the hair and then spray it. Maybe airbrush it with grey or something but anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you like how my trog's coming on and um i wish you all the best Anyway, I hope to see you in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell button for notifications of new videos if you want to see more of my sculptures because I'm going to get back into sculpting again big time. I want to do a smaller Nateri maybe. I want to do a smaller Nateri, she's quite tall and slender. So sort of that length um, a foot. And then about a foot high um, spawn. But I also want to get my full size Yoda done as well. That's one that I have had in the pipeline. In fact, I've got tons of sculptures that I've got in my to do sculpture folder. And I want to start eliminating some off the list. Pickle Rick would be a good one. I don't, oh, I've done a Planetina, haven't I? Rick and Morty. Um, yeah, oh, a uh, family guy. I want to do Stewie and, um, what's the dog's name again? Brian. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I won't bore you anymore. Please leave a comment if you want to comment and tell me about your favourite Ray Harryhausen film, if you have one. 
in fact, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go very quickly through the through the films that there are available for you to choose from. Right, 1947, Sinbad the Sailor. So it wasn't long after 33, was it? He must have been quite young then. Um, you've got 1957, 20 million miles to Earth, the uh, one with Farrah, no, not Farrah Fawcett, um, Bridget Bardo, not Bridget Bardo. Where's my picture? No, I think they have another one. Um, yeah, uh, 1958, the seventh, 7th vo Voyage of Sinbad. 1963, Jason and the Argonauts. One million years BC, 1966, with Racco, Rackle Welsh, who I was thinking of. The 1969, The Valley of Gwangi. 1973, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. 1977, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. 1981, Clash of the Titans. Excellent. I don't know if he had anything to do with Sinbad, The Legend of the Seven Seas in 2003. And then there was 2010 Clash of the Titans. Now it's probably all CGI, wasn't it? <coughs> um, I think that's all of Ray Harryhausen's films. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. It's a good old, uh, good old set of films to have have, uh, have contributed largely to their popularity. Ray Harryhausen's special effects titan, indeed. Anyway. I hope you enjoy my video. So the King Kong I want to do probably be the one from the 1933 film. I don't know, maybe. It's be a King Kong anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, possibly a Medusa as well. I don't know. But Trog, Trog's my favourite. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and goodbye. You probably all tuned off by now anyway. Long time ago. I do it to myself. Okay, bye bye.